Hi everyone, and welcome back to my weekly Sunday 9pm live video. I'm Dr. Tani Ping, consultant, obstetrician and gynecologist. And today's topic is about menopause and weight gain. Okay, this topic was specially requested by one of you who was extremely concerned about her friend who in her 40s had a hysterectomy, a surgery to remove both her uterus and her ovaries and now she has a lot of weight issues and that is causing a lot of stress in her. So I promised to her that I will talk about this topic and today here I am to talk about menopause and weight gain. I think this is not something uh, rare. A lot of us are actually very concerned about weight gain when we reach a certain age. I myself too. It is so much easier to lose weight when I was like in my 20s or in my teens but now that I'm almost 50, I find it very hard to lose weight as well. So is there a relationship between menopause and weight gain and why is that so and what do we need to do? So menopause, let's define menopause again. What is menopause? Menopause we define as one year, one year no menstruation. One year no menstruation is menopause. And there are many types of menopause. Not every woman belongs to the same category when we want to talk about menopause and weight. When we want to talk about menopause and weight issue, we have to look at women slightly differently. We have women who menopause on their own, that is natural menopause. And we also have women who did not menopause on their own, which is something like this case when they text me, whereby they have a surgi surgical menopause. Surgical menopause is when your ovaries are removed, okay? Not uterus, yeah? So a lot of people think that when they remove their uterus, they go into menopause. Yes, when you remove your uterus, your period don't come, but that is not really menopause if your ovary is still there. Because in actual fact, what is menopause is when your ovaries are no longer producing hormones. So in natural menopause, your ovaries stop producing hormones. That is why you stop having your menses. But in surgical menopause is when the doctor removes both your ovaries. When they remove both your ovaries, either on its own, that means we remove both your ovary, but we leave your uterus alone. In that way, you also become menopause because there's no more menses. Or most often, the ovaries are removed together with the uterus. So in such a case, you have a surgical menopause. So remember, if only your uterus is removed, you actually do not belong to this category of surgical menopause. You are still under natural menopause. Okay? So you have natural menopause and surgical menopause. Let's first talk about natural menopause. Okay, natural menopause can happen at any age. We have people who can have the menopause at, in their 20s, 30s, 40s, most of the time in their 50s, we usually say average age of menopause is 52, but you can still have a small number of women who menopause in their 60s. Okay, so you can menopause at any age, but one thing we realize, because the question is women always think that because they menopause, they put on more weight. And is that actually true? We have found out that menopause does not cause weight gain. Why I say that is because women who menopause in their 30s or 20s, do not put on weight. But women who menopause in their late 40s and 50s, they will put on weight. They have a tendency to put on weight. Is there a difference menopause in your 50s or 30s? Actually, there's no difference. When you menopause spontaneously or naturally, whether you're in your 30s or your 50s, it is the same process. Then why is it that women who put on weight if they're in their late 40s or 50s, but they don't put on weight when they're in their 30s? So we realize that this weight gain got nothing to do with menopause, but only to do with age factor. Why age factor? Why when we grow older, we tend to put on weight? It is so simple. Just look at yourself today. If you are in your 50s, compare yourself in your 50s and in your 30s. Are you actually doing the same amount of activities? The biggest reason for why we tend to put on weight in our 50s is because our lifestyle is no longer the same. We tend to sit more. We tend to rest more. We don't go out running as much, jogging as much, playing games as much. Even when we walk, we will see that the pace how fast do we walk now when we are in our 50s compared to when we were in our 30s? The speed is not the same. I still remember when I was in my 30s, when I go to the hospital and do my rounds, my nurses would be running and running and running after me. But now, they are walking in front of me. So, activities come down. Lifestyle change, activities come down. Why? Because we are no longer as young as before. We have more problems with our bones, our joints, our muscles. When you age, when you grow older, you have more problems with your knees, your, your feet, your back, you know. Like last time, probably you can every day go jogging, go to the treadmill and run half an hour. Now in your 50s, you can't. You want to run a bit more, 
you have knee pain la, back ache la. So our lifestyle change, our physical activity reduced with time, with our age. Partly is also lifestyle. We work more, we work hard, you know, we hardly got time for this and that. You no, know, we have to take care of family, we have to take care of work, we have no time to exercise, we have no time to keep ourselves fit. When we are single, we can do anything, we have more time. And when we grow older, we have knee pain, back ache, shoulder ache, a lot of things we cannot do. And as a result, we tend to move less and less active. And that is one of the reasons why we put on weight. Then the second reason why we put on weight when we are older and not when we are younger. If let's say we menopause at 30s, what other differences? There's one more thing that comes with age is our metabolism, especially when we talk about insulin resistance. You know, when we grow older, we are more likely to be more diabetic than we were younger. Some of us get diabetes when we are 40s, 50s, or some of us may get our diabetes when we are 60s or 70s. It doesn't matter which age you get your diabetes, you are getting more and more diabetic as you grow older because diabetes makes it difficult to lose weight. The unique thing about diabetes is it has got nothing to do with how much you eat, but rather how sweet you eat. Many people, when they go on diet, for example, there are many diets out there. One of the common diets, some people say, I just eat fruits, I don't eat proper meal. Like dinner, I eat fruits only. If you are 20 or in your teens or in your 20s, if you eat fruits only, you find that you can lose weight. But you try doing that when you're in your 50s, you will put on because fruits is sweet. And if your body is more diabetic now, when you take sugary stuff, you put on. Another common thing that happens with people who put on weight, uh, who try to lose weight, they eat so little, then they have a tendency of drinking something because you're hungry. So you search for something to drink. You may drink your coffee more, your Milo more, or soya milk or bubble tea or fruit juice. You tend to put on weight when you grow older because all these drinks are sweet. So when you are younger, when you go on diet, whenever you're hungry, you drink a glass of Milo. Now in your 50s, when you're hungry, you drink a glass of Milo, you put on weight because our metabolism has changed. So this is the reason why people tend to put on weight when they grow older. It has nothing to do with the hormones. It has nothing to do with the hormones. It has all to do with your age. So if you menopause younger, you don't actually put on compared to if you menopause older. So if you have a natural menopause, it's simple. You have to find ways Number one, to increase back your activities. In fact, I think it's quite possible. We still do see a lot of uh, middle aged and slightly more senior women who are very involved in, you know, qigong, uh, line dancing. You know, they join uh, all kinds of clubs and they have a lot of all these sort of activities to exercise. And in fact, they have more time then because the children have grown up. I also start to feel it. My children are always locked up in a room. You know, they're always in the room with their own activities. They've grown up. I was, my eldest son is no longer with me studying overseas. So I find that I have more and more time to do things for myself. So it is about time to start back exercise, which I have been discussing with my husband recently. Next year, what is our plan? We're going to do this, we're going to do that. We have to increase back our exercise, our physical activities, but we need to consider as well our pains, you know, our pains and aches as well. What is the exercise? They can help me reduce all my pains and aches, but at the same time, keep me active so that I can lose weight. Because you can't do what you used to do when you're young. In my 30s, I used to, I still remember when I was in Pantai Hospital, my clinic was in fourth floor. Parking is at basement. I will just walk up the stairs, five floors, no problem. Now, I can't. So I cannot choose climbing stairs as my way of staying active. I can't. I can't go jogging. I can't go on the treadmill. So I have to think of other things. So we have to think, we have to sit down and think about what other activities that I can do with this. If you do not know, you can discuss it with your GP doctor, any doctors or even your physiotherapist. You can ask your physiotherapist. In fact, they are very good at advising because they, if they know your physical condition and they are more connected with what are the possible uh, spots or exercise out there that's suitable for you with your aches and pains everywhere. And next is we have to correct our metabolism. We know that we become more and more diabetic as we grow older. It is time to cut down on the sugar and the carbs. If we cut down the sugar and carbs, we are able to control our weight better. Okay, this is all regarding natural menopause. Let's talk about the other group. The second group of menopause are surgical menopause. Surgical menopause are women who menopause due to a surgery done to remove both the ovaries. So if you had a surgery to remove both the ovaries, means your ovaries are totally gone. We find there is a big difference. In this group of women, if we were to give them hormone replacement therapy, that means now I give them hormone tablets to take. Most women don't want to take hormone tablets. I tell you, most women after a surgery when we remove the ovaries, even if we want to give them hormone tablet, most will not want to take. But we realize that two groups of women, both surgical menopause, one with hormones, and one without hormone. The one with without hormone tend to put on more weight than the one with hormone. Why is that so? Why are these women not the same as women who naturally menopause? Big 
difference. Why? I that's why I tend to be very conservative when it comes to removing people's ovaries. I tend to keep because having ovary or not having ovary makes a big difference to a woman when she menopause. Everybody think that it's the same. They think it's the same, but we know it's not the same. In fact, there are a lot of reports and a lot of research out there that tells us it's not the same. You menopause on your own. Yes, we always say because your ovaries stop producing hormones, so you menopause. So is there a point in keeping your ovary? Just remove it. After all, it's not producing hormones, but it's not true. We all know now that the ovary continues to produce hormones, but maybe not the f so much of the female hormones. Still have a little bit, but it still produces quite a lot of so-called male hormones. You must understand women got female hormone, got male hormone. Our male hormone is much less than men. It's very little. It's mainly female hormone. But when we menopause, all our female hormones come down, but our male hormones still maintain. So we still have hormones in our body to regulate our metabolism. We always find, right, between women and men, men always tend to have better metabolism. They tend to, you don't, you don't you envy like your husband eats so much and you also eat so much. He doesn't put on, you put on. Why? Ah, uh? uh, why? So you see, we have male hormones in our ovary and it continues to produce even after we menopause. So if we take out the whole ovary, nothing. Nothing left. That's why it's very important for women to maintain their ovaries. Not the uterus so much, but the ovaries. Actually, uterus also have some function, but not in the sense of hormone production. But when it comes to ovaries, there's still hormone production. And we know that women with ovary and without ovary, when they menopause, the one with no ovaries is the one that tend to put on a lot more weight. And that is the question that was posed up to me by one of you regarding a friend in her 40s who removed her uterus and ovary and have difficulty controlling her weight and is very depressed over it. Actually, it's very easy to solve a problem. She just needs to take hormones. She just needs to take hormones to replace back the hormones that she's meant to have. I know we don't like hormones, but sometimes it's not easy. You have to choose what you want. Of course, if I, my advice for her would still be back to the same principle as I advise all the women with natural menopause. Go back to basics. Increase your physical activity. Start exercising back. Number two, think about your food. Think, remember that you are more and more diabetic as you grow older, so you need to reduce your sugar content in your food and your carbo content in your food. Do that and see whether your weight is better controlled. If not, you may need some hormones. Go for the lowest dose possible. That will definitely help in women with no more ovaries. Then women with ovaries. Like, some women, they have ovaries, but they menopause already. But it is a natural menopause. So do I take hormones? Normally, our advice is you do not need to take hormones because you, don't, you are not actually affected uh, by your menopause when it comes to weight control. Your weight gain, nothing to do with your menopause. It's purely due to your age. So adding hormones to you will not help. Adding hormones only help in women who have a surgical menopause okay if you have missed all my videos i have tons of videos now you can go to my youtube channel please subscribe to my channel and like my videos go and see what other topics there are there so that's all for today stay tuned next week same date same time bye